Hello everyone, long time no see and as you already noticed from its title this one is another travel vlog this time I will have a long journey first I'm flying to Georgia and my spouse, my boyfriend is there uh, so we are going to meet there and as a tradition bye bye from my parents here I'm waiting for my flight, it has been delayed for a couple of hours so I had enough time to wait and I'm showing my nails here I did them a week ago when I didn't even know about this trip uh, but I was so tired and really wanted to travel so uh, I was really happy to have this chance I have my train uh, in an hour, so hope I'll get my luggage in time. So this is Tbilisi Airport. I've been to Georgia a lot of times and I love coming back. And since it was my first time after pandemic, I was so happy to be there. So I am in the train, um, waiting, and we are moving in 10 minutes. So yeah, I'm so happy. Um, after a couple of hours, I'm gonna meet my boyfriend finally. <laughs> after a month. This bottle, it looks like. I have my sandwiches actually. I wanted this one, but they gave me two in the airplane. So <laughs> this is my lunch. So I'm on the second floor. Dear passengers, this station is Batumi. Got our food. One appetit. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is day two. Uh, so yesterday since I was really tired, uh, I couldn't shoot that much. We just went to the seaside and had some ride uh, in the city, then had some dinner and then I came to the place where I stay. So today we are finally meeting, uh, but the weather was rainy, but suddenly it turned that it is sunny now. So hope <laughs> it will not be rainy when we'll be outside and we can have some walk at least. Yeah. So let's see. Now it is sunny suddenly. So hope it will remain this way. Came to the European area. It is European style place. There's some theater, I guess. Uh, so there's a tour guy talking about. I was wondering why they're standing there, but probably there's something interesting here. We came to the boulevard, but since it started raining, we are coming back. Uh oh. Okay. 
came back because it is not raining actually. Oh, there's some souvenir shops. So this is the place where the statue Ali and Nino located, but uh, it was really big and I heard that they made it too little from the last year. So I was here four or five years ago, it was really big, but this year it is really small compared to the other buildings. Suddenly it got really hot. <laughs> Here to sit near the seaside. Yeah. We came to Ukrainian restaurant. Really like, are you happy? He really wanted to eat some salad. The atmosphere is really Ukrainian. Oh, here's some park with the lake, so it is so relaxful to sit here and just have some rest. Hello, good morning everyone. Hello from Lagadeki. Uh, we are actually in another city. Uh, came here for conference. Yesterday we were in the road for 10 hours, so I didn't shoot anything. <laughs> there was nothing interesting about the yesterday. So we are in the hotel, but moving to another one today. So let me show you. <laughs> The owner of the hotel was Azerbaijani, so everything in the lobby was designed in Baku style, so it was really nice to see that. And by the way, on our way to Lagadeki, we have met some Azerbaijani people, talked to them in our language. They were staying in one of the four districts where Azerbaijani people stay in Georgia. in the forest just having some walk and at night the conference will start this was the first day and happy day in the forest when we didn't even imagine that we would get lost the next day <laughs> yes we got lost in georgia the D-Day when we got lost in Lagadeki forest and couldn't find the way for almost five hours. We were following the signs but suddenly got lost and there was no one to help us and we were facing with snakes, even killed one of them, there was no water, no food and we just were praying and waiting God to make a miracle what he did. He sent it as one person as an angel and we had to cross the whole river to leave the forest because we were on the wrong side. But glad to God we are alive. 
The next day we left Lagadeki and had not 9, even 11 hours long trip till Batumi because some of the roads were closed. At the moment we are in the city called Tukori. Here's some uh, place where you can just stop and have some milk. <laughs> Also got our thing car and use mushrooms. Let's try. And admit that there are waters around you have grown. And I see every that sound. You'll be drained to the bone. Finally, the favorite part of any trip for me is uh, having some road by ship, by boat. The next day we crossed the border and already were in Turkey in the city called Hoppa. It was so close as if we just drive to another part of Batumi and here you can see the city center and also a beautiful view. We stayed there for two days before flying to Istanbul and spent amazing time with Azerbaijani people living there and also other foreigners. And to talk about the city itself, I really liked it despite the fact that it was really little. Uh, but the most significant thing that I liked about the city was the atmosphere. There was some atmosphere of peace there, so we could really rest there. Hello everyone! Hello. <laughs> Today we are leaving from Hoppa to Rize uh, to fly to Istanbul. So here's our luggage. Let me show you surroundings. Uh, it's rainy day here in Hoppa. They're going by bus and it's leaving uh, in 15 minutes. Get our tickets and uh, this airport is quite cozy. So <laughs> Actually, we were in Turkey for 10 days, 4 in Istanbul and 6 in Yalova for a conference with the whole family of my fiancé but I didn't really shoot anything in Turkey, so just showing you some short videos from Istanbul. This place is called Galata Port and it is the place where all cruise ships stop. And on that day we saw two huge cruise ships and were so excited because it is the dream of both of us to have cruise trip. So hope our dream will come true very soon. Since it was located near us, we used to go there every day. Here we are sitting in the restaurant called Happy Moons, my favorite one, which I visit in Baku as well. This is the transportation that I like the most in Turkey. And here we were crossing to Kadiköy side to have some shopping. Then we had a Bosphorus tour for an hour and a half, but we couldn't enjoy anything because there were so many people inside and we could enjoy our way from Kadıköy more. After coming back, we took a bus from Eminönü station to Laleli area to meet with our friends from Uzbekistan. At night we got hungry, but you can see how many people are there on the street, no matter what time it is. The next two days were mostly shopping days, nothing else. And I can say that I had better shopping in Yalova because it was less crowded. <laughs> came today to have shopping on Kadıköy area, but it's too crowded here. 
it's not that hard as uh, in Taksim area. Then we had bread and fish and pickle juice right near the seaside as we see it in Turkish TV series. This is the end of my journey, despite the fact that I was traveling for 18 days but this time I didn't really shoot that much. But anyways, I really enjoyed that and like sharing with you guys. And also, these vlogs are as diary for me what I like to watch. So hope you like this video. See you soon in the next vlogs. Bye bye.